Hello guys. Well, welcome back to Trom. Episode 2. And I see that you guys like Oh, let, let me just remove this. Okay. I see that you guys like more horror RPG type of 2D games instead of like um, Stardew Valley and all that but I also enjoy these type of games because they've got a story a backstory so <clears throat> Let's continue from where we last left. And that's here we are. Oops, let me remove this. Um, if my keys ain't here, they must be somewhere else. Better look for them. So I'm trying to find my keys. I've got my phone, but it's dead. A plastic plant, same as the other. So, just a plant. Office's vending machine. For two dollars, you can increase your chance for a heart attack. I have no need to buy anything. Okay, so it's sweets and stuff. <clears throat> I can't look at this for some reason. What is this? Oh, it's a camera. Um, all right. Hmm. Okay, um... This was painted by Laura from accounting. <clears throat> She's such a good artist. What is she even doing working in a place like this? I don't know. You're asking me? I hate it when they don't even bother to clean up their mess. Yeah. Daily magazines, couple of old comics, stuff that people devour while they eat their food, edit additive filled nuggets. Okay. I hate it when they don't even bother to clean up their mess. Trash, rubbish, junk, not interested. I heat up my dinner here every day. Wait, is that a hamster tail? What? Where? You notice a note left at the fridge door. Someone left the keys in the fridge. They're now in the reception. There's a word idiot scribbled below. How nice. Well, the reception. The reception is downstairs in the lobby. I should head there. Those who say that coffee is the nectar of gods clearly haven't tasted what comes out of this monstrosity. Still, I could use a cup. I'm so tired I can't even think straight. Yes. What? Ugh, if this doesn't wake me up, nothing will. No more of that voice. Are you kidding me? Coffee is so good. Like, what? And it's even healthy. Like, black coffee is healthy. Uh, it like, um, if you are, uh, I don't know if it's, if you have low or high pressure. 
I don't know which one of it was, but I think if you're feeling like dizzy and stuff, uh, you have low pressure, yeah, low pressure. I'm gonna look at this. Um, it's a picture of. Uh, hey, wait a minute. This is Holda Wahlberg, the famous adult actress. Why did he have? Her picture framed, obsessed much. Why do you care? You come across your boss's desk. This room with all its belongings makes you uncomfortable. Then suddenly something starts to hammer the back of your head. Some time ago. You wanted to see me, sir. Yes, let me get straight to it. What the hell is this smalling? How can you fuck this up? This isn't rocket science. The boss slams his fist against the desk so hard that his cigar case falls on the floor. I'm sorry sir, I'll do better next time. Smalling. I've seen so many mistakes from you that I don't know if there'll be a next time. I should kick your sorry ass out of this building right now. I'll fix this, sir. Please give me more time. You better. This is your last chance, Smalling. Why the heck is he calling him Smalling? Do not leave your desk until this is done properly. Do you understand? Say it. I understand, sir. What? I can't hear you. The boss yells so hard that you notice pieces of spit flying everywhere. Mm, should I repeat? No. But I'm not repeating myself. So you quite notice the boss's face turning red. You stop and piece of sh get out of here. Crawl back to your desk. One chance, Smalling. One fucking chance. Don't fuck it up. I won't, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm not gonna repeat myself like that. Jesus, all these memories. I could drop it on the table and be done with it. No, not yet. On the last moment you decide to pull back from a plan and keep the letter still in your possession. You cursely peek inside your boss's trash bin amongst the paper rubbish, some letters and receipts. You find a note with some numbers on it. The note says, the new key is 2573, please don't lose this. IT debt. You keep digging through your boss's trash bin among the, amongst the paper rubbish. You notice, you notice thin string. You carefully pinch the string and pull the unknown object up. What the are these thongs? Why though? Wait, are these my wife's? No, sh she doesn't wear these kinds of panties. Or does she? What? Not when she's with me, at least. Could this be hers? You notice a bottle in the trash bin. What's this? A bottle of Tiger's Remedy for bodily hair loss? And the mustache cream? The fuck? <laughs> I'm not going to dig deeper. I don't think my tetanus shot is valid anymore. <laughs> what? Um, not yet, not yet, no. I'm thinking, a leather couch, I don't even want to think about what has happened on that thing. Yeah, I mean... Who does even want to know? I'm gonna keep, um thinking of whether 
um, putting the resignation letter or not right now I'm gonna look over here mm. nothing here a plastic plant Broken, great, no number, no number twos in this shit all. You decide to relieve yourself from the filled blab. No need to use facilities. I hate mirrors, how can you know that it isn't staring at you when you have your back turned? My eyes are so bloodshot, I look like the crappy zombies in that movie. What was it again? 28 something later? Or was it before? I can never remember. It's just a piece of reflecting glass. Stop ca scaring yourself. What if this isn't a reflection but a window to another existence? portal to some mysterious faraway land filled with dreams and hopes of those lost great lights went out while well, that was convenient search for light switch yes you managed to find the light switch and flip it on oh i don't like this you decide not to look at the mirror anymore no more, and you try not to think of the candy man. Huh? Lady sighed, I still got my balls left. That's so weird though. Huh, locked. Guess everyone went home already. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make the choice of um, putting the letter. Yes. You drop the letter on the table, it feels like a big stone rolls off from your heart. You even smile a little. There, goodbye shitty job, welcome new life for me and my wife. Sturdy oak table, pretentious decorations for pretentious people, person. Okay. That's a good choice. When you don't like your job, just quit it. You don't have to deal with bad things. No. You don't. You don't deserve that. I'm gonna check. Okay. It's not working. I don't know why. Let's see. Um. <coughs> Okay. Let's go to the reception. 
There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to drink any more water when I'm this far leaving the office. Reception to the right, elevators back of this corridor. No shit. Yeah. Oh hey, it's an old issue of Tisit, a vintage f Finnish gentleman's magazine. Why is it so sticky? Maybe they put coffee cups on it. Of course the door is locked, just my luck. There's a keypad, keypad there though. I wonder if that note I found has the correct key in it. Bro, I forgot. What was the code again? My memory is good, but so damn short. 2573. 2573. There we go. Here's the box for lost items. Inside, amongst the pair of glasses, a couple of memory sticks, a calculator, and a pink. The usual office equipment. You find your keys. Okay. <laughs> Great. Let's, um... Yes. Streets. Oh damn, this weather. I better run across. Ooh. You slowly regain consciousness and feel that your entire head is covered in bandages, blocking your eyes. Feeling around with your hands, you realize that you're lying in a bed somewhere. Hearing the constant beeping sound is getting very annoying. What? What happened? Where am I? You feel around and notice there's something stuck in your arm. Feels like an IV line. Rip out the line. No. Maybe I'll just lie here for a second. How did I get here? I remember leaving work, going to my car and then... Nothing. What happened? Maybe I should just rip out the line after all. You rip out what whatever was stuck in your arm. It stung but it doesn't take long for you to feel much better. You start to unravel the bandages, bandages over your head. What? Your eyes take a moment to adjust to the bright lights. I should... I should get up. Are you... <sighs> of course this is gonna happen. You black out for a moment as you fall down from the bed. The floor feels very cold and you stumble back. You stumble back up on your feet. <clears throat> you notice something on your finger. It's attached to the monitor nearby. What the hell is this? Some kind of claw spin? Take out. You've already taken out the IVs, okay. You take the object off and soon notice it was measuring your heart rate. How wonderful, now that sound got even more annoying. I need to find a way to shut that thing down. Thank god it stopped any more of that sound and I would have gone crazy. Am I in a hospital? How did I get here? I need to get home. Where's all my stuff? I need my clothes, my keys and my phone before I go anywhere. That locker looks like the place to store clothes. I should check there. Oh my gosh. Um, 
the hell? Why is my phone in the trash bin? Who put it there? Still out of battery. I don't have a charger here. So no calling with this one. What? My keys. Dark alleyway. These are the kind of places where people get killed wouldn't want to be down there okay Man. better put my clothes on Oh. Jesus, Mike, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Chris, what, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? The real question is why you're still here and not in the party. What? It's mandatory to participate, you know. Come on, Mike, we're in a hurry. What party? You're still you're seriously gone gonna wear that. No, you're not going to wear that. Wear what what the hell are you talking about? The outfit we're late and you're looking like something that crawled out of a trash can. Okay, here's what we do. You go get that tuxedo from the dresser, slip into that and then we're off. With any luck, we might make it in time, but only if I drive. What? Mike, just do it, goddammit. Get that tuxedo, get dressed, and get out of this damn room. We have to go now. Are you serious? What the... This wasn't here before. This wasn't here before I always doubt I'll wait outside while you get changed but hurry up everyone's waiting for us yeah this is definitely weird you pick the tuxedo examine it and shrug I need to talk to Chris yeah, this. There's something weird going on. What happened? Did I black out? You look at your clothes. Wait, didn't I? This is getting way too creepy. I am certain I changed these clothes. Chris, I need to talk to Chris. He's waiting for me outside, right? I don't think he is, buddy. There's nothing here. Okay, this is weird, yeah. Huh? The clock seems to have run out of battery, it stopped. Alright guys, before we continue any of this hospital exploration, I'm gonna have to end this episode here. <coughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and liking my videos and enjoying them. <coughs> uh, did I save? Yeah. Alright. Thank you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And have a nice day and night to you. Bye.